my friends. Welcome to my couch. My name is Sam and I'm going to read you a story today. You might hear some chirping in the background. Those are my pet birdies, which we might have time to take a look at later. But for now, I'm going to share the true story of Duke and Dot. And behind me we have um, Dot waiting for us so nicely and Duke. We're going to hear about their story. So my friend Anna wrote this book and she told me that it would be wonderful if I shared it with all of you. This is the story of Duke and Dot. Every word is true, believe it or not. They were born on a farm. They grew up together. They always knew they'd be best friends forever. As puppies, they played and had so much fun. They especially liked to go for a run. As Duke grew bigger, his training began. He was meant for hunting. That was the plan. When Dot began to grow a tummy, the farmers knew she would be a mummy. So she stayed inside while Duke hunted for birds, and some nights he was even too tired for words. Hunting was serious. There were competitions and games, and Duke had to score points or he would bring the farm shame. But Duke was the best and he always won, so he became the champion. Duke got lots of attention and everybody knew his name, but Dot felt forgotten and her spirit was tamed. She missed the days when her and Duke played together. They were supposed to be best friends forever. She looks pretty sad, doesn't she? Then something happened and everything changed. Some strangers came and took Duke away. It all happened so fast. There was no time to say bye. And watching Duke leave brought a tear to Dot's eye. Oh man. Birdies, look what happened. Okay. Duke was the king of the castle in his new home, and the strangers took him wherever they'd go. They took him to parks and lakes to fetch sticks. They even drove him across Canada on a long road trip. Dot often worried Duke might never come home, and without her best friend, she felt so alone. We feel alone right now without our best friends, don't we? Me too. She didn't know where Duke was. She didn't know that he was retired. And she had no idea what was about to transpire. So something's going to happen and Dot doesn't even know yet. The house that Duke lived in had room for one more. They called to adopt Dot that would make their family four. Dot got on a plane and she went to beautiful BC. That's where we live. She had no idea she was in for a treat. <gasps> Dot was scared and confused, but when she got out, she could smell the ocean and the mountains and the trees all about. So Dot got out and she sniffed the air of the airport. Dogs have very good noses, so I bet she smelled something else too. Let's see. <gasps> what is it? Let me see. So her new family waited at the airport. They were the first to meet. And she sniffed them and she thought, <gasps> is that Duke? It couldn't be. Ah! She smells him. I just know I smell him. Nobody else smells like him. So let's see what happened. Duke was brought, or sorry, Dot was brought to her new home 
And much to her surprise, there was Duke at the steps and he looked at her eyes. They ran to each other with a hug and a kiss and they promised to live each day in bliss. So she smelled him and it was right. They found each other once again and they ran to each other with a hug and a kiss. And they promised to live together each day in bliss. Now Duke and Dot are retired, so they lounge most days, but call their names and they'll run in a blaze. They were separated for years, but now they're together because no matter what, they will always be best friends forever. And if you see on the back page, there is a picture of Anna, the author of the book, and her husband, Tyler, and uh, Duke is sitting on Yes, Duke is on the, the log and Dot is in Anna's arms. They were real pets and I met them before. They were very, very good doggies. Well, that's the end of the story now and we're going to take a quick look at who was doing all that chirping. Are you ready? We're going to look at my pets very quickly. Here they go across the wall and into their house. We see Annie and Ozzy and Dingo all about. Hello. Bye bye for now.